Greetings and welcome to another video. It's Saturday the 30th of May 2020 and welcome back to Iron Bridge. And as you can see right in front of us is the Iron Bridge itself and the Iron Bridge Toll House. But today we're not focused on the Iron Bridge itself. Today we're going to be exploring a uh, public footpath in Iron Bridge. And to get there We start our journey over here. Welcome to Bethnal Edge Woodland. Now if you saw my videos that I made yesterday, you all know that we explored up that way and a couple of uh, footpaths we followed came out up the road along there. So we're not going that way. Instead, we're starting today's journey over there. Now over the past few days, this has been the starting point of the videos I've been making in here in Ironbridge. Uh, we've already explored the Seven Valley Way, which can be found by following the green signposts and we've also explored Bower's Yard Lime Kiln which can be fo yeah, found by following the blue signposts but today uh, we're going to continue on from the videos I made yesterday and start off by following Patton's Rock Quarry which can be found by following the red signposts and yeah, so let's begin by doing exactly just that, by exploring down this way. Now as mentioned in yesterday's videos, there's a footpath that goes over the top of that bridge. And that bridge does take you in one of two directions. Firstly, following the blue signs to Bower's Lime Kiln, and secondly, along a footpath to take you to Bridge End, which we discussed in yesterday's videos. Um, we're not going to go that way now, but if I plan this video properly that I'm making today, we might end up there later. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. In the meantime, we're just going to continue along the path here. So, on our right here, is a little path which takes you to Bower Yard Picnic Area, which is a really good place to sit down and have something to eat on a day like today. But we're not going that way. Instead, we're going to continue along the main path to get to where we're going. So we're at this point, and if we were to continue on continue along this path we'll be going along the Seven Valley Way uh, which I talked about in a previous video recently just the other day in fact now I'm thinking about returning to the Seven Valley Way in a future video at some point but we'll see how that goes in the meantime we're going up this way As you can see, coming up this way is part of the Patterns Rock Quarry Path, which you can access by following the red signs. And also this way, uh, you can also get to Barosley up these steps. Now, we're not going to be going to Barosley today. Uh, that's going to be a subject for another video at some point in the future. Now, in the meantime, we're going to continue on from a video that I made yesterday, which starts up these steps here. So let's carry on and get started. As we saw in yesterday's video, to get to where we're going, 
it's going to be a bit of a trek but it's going to be worth the effort onwards and upwards as you can see we are are now at a crossroads let's take a closer look Now if you were to turn right, you'll see we'll go to Bower Yard, which is back that way, and the Bower Yard Lime Kiln, which I made a video about a few days ago. And as you can also see, Bridge Bank to our left. in that direction well we made a video about bridge bank just yesterday and it's in that direction as I just said but what we want to do for today's video is head up these steps here let's carry on and away we go These steps are annoying, but to be fair, they're good. They make climbing this hill so much easier. So we're going to follow the path around to head up that way. Okay, we're almost at where we want to be. Just a couple of more minutes. Should be at the top of these steps here where we want to go. And there we are. That tree over there is what we're looking for. All right, Yelvin, if we were to follow the red signs up that way, along those steps there, we'll be following the path for the Patterns Rock Quarry Walk, which we did a couple of days ago. It's a really, really good route, that is. But we're not going that way today. Instead... We're coming over here. Right, we were here yesterday following the yellow signs for a public footpath. And yeah, let's go through the gate. Just have another gate to go through. Right, we now find ourselves back in this field and uh, if you saw the videos of, uh, if you saw the videos I made yesterday you'll uh, recognize we were standing right in this spot yesterday now in yesterday's video we explored the footpath down in that direction but today, we're going to be exploring the footpath in this direction over there, at that gate. Like I say, yesterday we explored down that way. But today... We're coming up through that gate there. Now the footpath continues on this way. A 
And as you can see, we're going to be following the yellow arrows. And the path. Continues on to over there. So here we are. It's going to be good to see where this goes. And we've got another, well, we've got another gate in front of us. Let's go have a look at it. So here we are. Make sure the gate's closed properly. Now we've got a small herd of goats over there, so uh, when uh, if you so choose to follow this footpath I'm on today and come into this field, do take care of yourselves and be careful around those goats. Let's carry on this way. Uh, it's probably a better view of goats. They're interesting animals. But like I just said, if you decide to follow this footpath of mine today, and if you come along into this field, do be careful around them. So yeah. Okay, as you can see, we've uh, come onto this path now. Just a small corner to turn. Let's see where it takes us. Right, we've got a signpost in front of us. Now the path splits, we can go right, or we can go left through that gate there. And according to the signpost, following the yellow signs, does say the public footpath can and does continue on through that gate. But we're not going to go that way today. Uh, no, we're not going to explore that way today. Instead, we're going to stick to following the public footpath. In this direction. Because I think this way, the path connects to a couple of other places I was thinking about exploring in future videos but we'll get to that later on now as you can see the path splits again we can go left but we're not going to go that way today instead we're going to carry on this way And we're going to have a look at the signpost just in front of us. Alright, the uh, public footpath, as seen by the yellow sign, does continue forward. So we're going to stick with that. 
Uh, as for this other footpath, the Folk and Gentry Walk, uh, I don't know anything about that walking route. I've never seen that sign before. Uh, maybe I'll maybe I'll explore that in a future video. I don't know. Uh, I'll have to think about that one. But in the meantime, we're going to stick to the yellow signpost and follow the public footpath. Carrying straight on. Let's see where it goes. It's really nice this way. As I think I've already said, it's uh, a blessing to have such nice weather today. I'm really glad about that. Okay, uh, it looks like the path splits again. Right, there's a path going to our left. And there's a signpost over here. Now apparently, back the way we get, came, um, I assume through that gate we saw earlier that we did not explore, that way takes you to uh, Bay Little's house. So yeah. And also, from here, According to the sign, up that path is Brosley. Okay, so we're not going to go to Brosley today. Uh, we're going to save that for another video. Uh, and according to the uh, signpost, going that way, uh, takes you back to Ironbridge. So yeah, I think when I get round to making that video going to Brosley, we'll be coming along this path. Uh, but we'll find that out on another day. Instead, Patton's Rock Quarry is where we're going to be going today which is in this direction here I'm uh, going to be going through the gate. Okay, clearly we've just entered a local farm. So we've got to be very careful and very strict about sticking to the path. So, uh, yeah. Let's head up along this way. There's a gorgeous horse over there. Beautiful, gorgeous animal. Let's carry on this way. We're now at this gate here. And as you can see, the uh, yellow sign, public footpath, is telling us to go through it.
and there's another gate just here we've got to go through and we're going to be following the uh, yellow public footpath sign again Okay, uh, we're in a bit of a narrow footpath here, a bit overgrown, with a few wild plants, that's fine, not a problem, just make sure you're wearing a proper pair of trousers if you're coming down this way. And we're going to be following the uh, path forwards. Yeah, it's a bit annoying, this path being a bit overgrown, but like I say, it's no big issue. Not a problem, not really. Let's carry on. Sheep. Absolutely beautiful animals, these sheep. Gorgeous. And this is obviously an amazingly beautiful piece of farmland here in the heart of Shropshire. Just plain amazing. Let's carry on along the path. So the path now wants us to come this way. And as you can see, we've got to follow the path down that way. So uh, let's go. Okay, there's a gate in front of us, which we've now got to go through. So yeah, let's uh, crack on. So here we are. Seven Gorge Countryside Trust. Welcome to Bethnal Edgewood. 01952-433-880 So yeah, let's uh, carry on down the path I suspect I've got an idea where this path connects us to uh, I think it takes us back to the uh, Patterns Rock Quarry walk But yeah, uh, we'll soon see in a few minutes. But yeah. Oh. Careful. Got to be careful where I put my feet. Let's carry on. So we're now here. It looks like... There's a footpath going off to our left there. Uh, I don't know where that goes to, but we're not going to be going that way. Instead, we're going to be following the path to our right and uh, following the public footpath yellow signpost.
In fact, looks like there's something right in front of us right now. All right, Yorvin, we're here. And we've got the signpost. Going left is following the red signs. And as you can see, going left takes us to Patterns Rock Quarry View, which is where we were at a few days ago. And going back the way we just came from, as you can see, is Brosley via Fields. But what we're actually going to do is go right toward Ironbridge. We're going to go along this way. And we're just going to follow this uh, wooden path. Yeah, we're going to carry on this way. And it's going to take us back to where we started our video today. So let's uh, carry on. We're going to go down the steps and we're going to cross that wooden bridge. I'm going to carry on along the path. All right, we're going to be following the path back toward Iron Bridge in this direction. Okay, so we eventually come back to these steps here. Going up that way, up those steps, takes us back to Barosley, but we're not going up to Barosley today. What we're instead doing is just coming here. Now over there, as you can see, is the gate and the start of the public footpath we've just explored today. But we're not going that way obviously, because well, we've already been that way. Instead, we're coming back down this way, back toward Iron Bridge. Yeah, we're going to be following the same steps we came up to start today's video. We're now going to be heading back down, back toward Iron Bridge itself. Let's uh, carry on.
Okay, we're back on the Severn Valley Way, which continues on in that direction. But what we want to do is head back to Iron Bridge in that direction. So here we are, back at the start of today's video. I want to say thank you for everyone who's watched this video today. I do appreciate it. And I'll uh, see you all soon in the next video. Take care and see you all soon.